Hi, this is Oka Morse from CDLC. The question I'd like to answer today with this video is how to find control vocabulary terms um, in a field that you did not want there. And once we find them, to also find them in your um, metadata for um, the items and to delete them there. So what we're going to do today is I have a collection out of my side, Museum of Innovation and Science, and I'm under the collection tab in the Content DM administration website. And I'm going to go to the field properties for this collection. And I know that um, under subject personal name that I have terms in my metadata and terms in this control vocabulary for this um, metadata field that should not be there. So first to look at that, I'm going to click on edit. And here I'm in editing the field and I am going into administer control vocabulary. In this window, this is where we can add terms through the add term box or delete terms through the delete term box to a control vocabulary. We can also browse the control vocabulary. So we here we have all the control vocabulary for this particular metadata field for this collection. Now remember this is subject personal name, so they have added this content themselves. And as I look at this list, I am going to see terms that I don't expect to be in there. At least I'm hoping I am. Um, and right now, I actually don't see the terms, but there's another way to um, find these terms and that's out of verify. So in verify, that tells me um, what terms are in my metadata for this field that aren't in that control vocabulary list. So I'm gonna click here and ah, yes, there are the terms that are sitting there that should not be in this control vocabulary list. And actually, if you, most of you notice, for some reason, these are a lot of the terms from the old New York Heritage topic field. So at this point, I'm gonna take just one of those terms. I'm gonna take people. I'm going to copy it and I'm going back to the item tab and I'm going to edit because what I'm interested in is finding the um, items that have um, this term in it. So I'm going to click on selected fields. I'm going to pop that term in people and I'm going to go down to subject personal name because that's the metadata field that I'm working with. And most of the time I change this to the exact phrase since this is one term, it's, that's not important. And I'm gonna click on search. And I have three items that have the term people in the subject field personal names, which it should not be in. So I'm gonna look at these. First of all, I realize that these are all single items. When you're dealing with single items and editing, you can either do them in the project client or in the admin website. If you're dealing with compound objects, I would advise you to do your cleaning up and your editing in the project client. And we will do another, another video on that. So let me look at these. I'm gonna go look here, metadata. And I'm going down and I have subject, and here I have have these terms, okay, which I don't want in there. And these are all terms that used to be in an old field that's no longer here, so I don't even have to worry about that. I'm going to just go in here and delete them. Okay, I don't have to worry about anything being, picking out something from the control vocabulary list, I just want those gone, and I'm gonna save my changes. The changes to occur, I have to index, but I'm gonna go back to edit first. Do that same search again. And of course, now you see this is locked because I've edited it. I'm gonna go down to the next one. 
And again, here are these terms. So I'm going to just highlight them and delete them. And I'm going to go back and save my changes again. And I've run into one problem here. Um, that I have a control vocabulary term that was not in another metadata fields um, control vocabulary. So what I'm going to have to do, I didn't plan on doing this, is copy that term. And this is something that can happen to you when you did not use the uh, detailed approved Q action section of the proof. So I'm going back into collections, I'm going back into field properties, going back into corporate name, that's the other one. I'm going to back into administer control vocabulary. I want to add this term. To my list, my control vocabulary list. Okay. Now I'm going to go back to item and I have to again go to edit, search. So I'm just going back to where I was before, pulling this one up. This is something that can happen to you. Um, here it is again. I'm going to take that subject personal name out and go down and save my changes. And there I am okay. Now, if we had been doing this in the project client, that issue with the term in another control vocabulary list not being um, there would not have happened to us. So this is again why I do emphasize that when you go to edit control vocabulary, lit, metadata fields with control vocabularies, it is much better to do any of this editing in the project client. Uh, but I did want to show you how you can do it in the admin site, basically most of the time for single items, um, and one of the issues that you can come upon. So I'm going to go back again to edit, because I still have another one to do. To do that same search again. I now have two of these locked, and I have the third one. So I'm going back into the metadata. And here again I have all these terms in subject personal name I don't want. So I'm clicking on that. Notice the St. Louis Public Service Company is in this one also, but we've now added it to this control vocabulary list. So I think we will be okay. And I click on save changes. The item has been updated and indexed. So I'm now going to go to index and index now. Now, why this is indexing, um, one of the things that we need to check when we go back is to see if we've gotten all these terms out. Because remember, I only selected one of those many terms you saw in the verify list. Um, so we do have to wait for the indexing. Let me quickly just go back to collection, field properties subject personal name, edit, administer controlled vocabulary. And let me just see what's happening here. They're still in here. Okay, those are the terms. Um, let me just pick another one out just in case I need it. Back to items. Let's see how we are doing on our indexing. Hopefully this will not take too long. What will happen here, and we may have to stop this and then um, start it again, is that once this has indexed, um, hopefully we've gotten all those terms out of our metadata field for that, um, for that control vocabulary. And because they were not in the control vocabulary, we don't have to do any editing of the control vocabulary field, but we need to go back, as you saw me, and check to verify that we got all of those terms out. And again, I'm hoping that this will
and we may have to wait again. If you have any questions about this, especially that little section that I went through where um, I had to add another term to another control vocabulary to, um, to make so that I could save the changes I had made. Um, let me go back through that again while we're waiting for this to index. So in collections, in field properties, when you're working um, in the admin site and you are editing a control vocabulary field, um, it is a two-step process in doing this. If a term that you want to add to a metadata um, field is not in the control vocabulary when you're in the admin site, you first must go, like we did to that subject corporate name, and click on edit, click on administer, co administer control vocabulary, and add the term in the add term box and click on add. You have to do that before you can go back to items and edit and do any editing in these, in these fields. Let's go back and check on our indexing. And this again is still taking quite a bit of time. Um, I think what I'm gonna do is um, stop this uh, recording now. What we will see is that if we go back to the metadata field, you will find that all of those um, terms that were in our metadata for this field, subject personal name, are now gone. Uh, they were never in the control vocabulary list, so I don't have to edit the control vocabulary list itself. If you have any questions about this video, please contact your CDLC staff. Thank you.